hello guys welcome back to a new part of Core Java tutorial in today's episode we are going to learn about threads in Java so threads are very important in the case of a programming language so today's most modern applications are all based on threads and even the processor technology is also based on threads so while creating today's applications it's very important to consider threads so if you are creating such a most complex application using thread uh, you, you make sure that the programming language used for creating such application must support multi-threading of course java is such a wonderful language that has the capability of multi-threading so in this part onwards we are going to learn about how to handle threads in java we can define a thread as an execution path of a program that means uh, we can define the execution flow of a program as a thread so of course every java program contains threads that means already we are working we already we work with the threads in java so in this program also here there is a class called a thread demo and that class contain a main method so while we are running this program of course this program also contain a thread that means there is here in this program there is only one class present and there is only one method present which is the main method so here the thread is the main method that means the program executed from the main method so the execution flow of a program is actually controlled here by the main method that means we called main method as a thread in java that means whether a java program whether it is large or small it contain at least one thread that means the main thread also it, it can be possible to create any number of threads in a program you can add any number of threads into single java program so every java program contain at least one thread that thread is called the main thread okay java contain a class called a thread for handling all the thread handling function it has the thread class contain a number of methods for handling threads so here in this part i will introduce you some basic methods or basic functions used for working with threads in java so here there is a method called the main method is present and i already say that in this program there is only one thread present called the main thread here i am going to control the main thread using some methods available on the thread class of course here in this class contain only one thread called the main thread so if i want to control that main thread i need to create an object i want an object for controlling that main thread so for controlling the main thread or working with the thread in java i need an object or instance of thread class so for controlling the main thread here i am going to create an instance or object not an object is an instance of thread class here so here i create an instant of thread class which is t okay so in thread class there is a method called uh, current thread by using that method you can get an instant of current thread in the case of our program here there is only one method called the main method and here the thread is main thread so for controlling or for working with that main thread you need to get an instant of that main thread so here i already create an instant of the thread class so now i have to assign the instant of this thread into this instant variable so by using a method on the thread class called the current thread for getting the instant of the current thread so here i call the thread class again and call that method called the current thread okay so now here we got an instant of the main thread okay that means now we have the object of the current thread now we can control or work with this main thread <coughs> here i am going to print out that object <coughs> thread this thread this i print t just print out t now I save it now I'm going to run we can see what happens and what is going to print here is the <coughs> statement <coughs> thread is thread and which is the main thread okay <coughs> now I'm going to 
provide a name for the thread here the thread is the main thread now I am going to provide a name for the thread for naming a thread you can use a method on the thread class called set name by using the set name method you can easily change the name of a thread or you can name a thread using the set method uh, using the set name method so here I am going to provide a name for the main method so I using that object t dot there is a method called a set name and I change it into my thread okay so in this statement I change the name of the thread into my thread here I am going to print out the new name new name of main thread is so for getting the name of a thread there is another method called uh, get name you can set you can set the name for a thread using the set name method and you can get the name of a thread using the get name method so t dot get name I save it again I'm going to run it now look at the output now new name of main thread is my thread that means now I successfully rename the current thread that is the main thread okay now I am going to give you some useful what is the some basic uses of a thread here so for explaining the basic uses of a thread I create a for loop here for I create some for loop here and for in the I start a variable and I equal to zero initialize it from zero and provide a condition I less than or equal to five that means I iterated from 0 to 5 and increment value of 5 what what is here I equal to 0 okay now I'm going to print out the value of 5 so system dot out dot print ln I equal to plus i okay I just print out this statement system dot now while executing this statement it will print out the value of 5 from 0 to 6 0 to 5 so I just run it so here is the output the value is printed from 0 1 2 3 etc 5 okay so whenever I run the program you can see suddenly we got the output that means it will print it from 0 to 5 suddenly that means uh, we are not able to see how JVM print the message that means the JVM print the value of 5 so here what the JVM is done uh, first is assign value of i into 0 and uh, check the condition and print out it again go to this update statement i plus plus that means increment the value of y I again come back and print it again again go to the updation and again print it and also check the condition okay that is the process that means uh, we are not able to the processor is very fast we are not able to see the execution flow or execution path of that that uh, that execution path of that expression or statements so by using a thread you can easily pause some execution flow of a program so if you want to how the JVM is print out this statement in step by step you can easily pause that execution flow using a method called the sleep method that means by using the sleep method you can easily pause the execution flow of a program into some milliseconds or some nanoseconds okay so here I am going to pause the thread or post this main loop for loop into some milliseconds I'm not able to post the for loop I'm going to post the main thread because this for loop is embedded on the main thread this is embedded on the main method that means this loop is already on the main thread so now I am going to post the thread into some milliseconds so I call the thread class again thread dot sleep 
and provide 1000 milliseconds that means here I sleep the thread for 1000 milliseconds now we can see how JVM print out that message that means there is some little pause between the printing statement of course here is an error because we have to put this into a try block because it may cause an exception <coughs> the general exception generated here is the interrupted exception interrupted exception interrupted exception is the main exception occur here interrupted there is some spelling mistake interrupted exception interrupted interrupted okay this interrupted exception there is some spelling mistake okay now I generate some small sleep that means some small pauses between these printing statements so now I save it and now I am going to run the program now look at the output we can see there is some small pauses while printing the statement I again run it here I equal to 1 I2 I3 I4 and I5 that means we can now we can able to pause the execution flow into some milliseconds that means we can see the execution flow of a program that means we can control the execution flow of a program using thread class that is very important so whenever you working with the graphics in Java or whenever you working with the networking in Java thread is very important so if you are working with Android uh, then their thread is very essential well, you, if you are working with the multimedia or if you are working with the graphics or if you are working with the, some socket programming thread is very important that means by using thread you can easily control the execution flow of a program into some milliseconds okay so that's enough for this section on the next topic uh, we are going to learn about how to create threads in Java, what are the methods of creating threads in Java and on the coming up topic we are also going to see how to working with the multi threading or how to working with how to synchronize thread and how to establish inter thread communication etc. So please subscribe my channel now for getting more video updates. Thank you for watching. See you in the next part.